perfect, but we damn close. Ooh. What it do, Mob? What's up, Mob? Baby, you supposed to continue. You just said, after I say what I have to say. I and said, say what you said last time, and I'm going to take That's what I said. And then you then, said, let then, me tell No, no. Then you just said, then I'm going to say, let me tell y'all about the labor and delivery. You literally just said that. All right, let me tell y'all about the labor and delivery. So, we had just moved into our apartment, and she was been cleaning all day. And then the cable guy came and installed the internet and the cable. And like 15 minutes later, she went and used the bathroom. It wasn't that day. It was the same day the cable guy came. No, it was the next day. Either way it go, the cable guy was here. She, and then he left, installed the cable. We was chilling. Her mama, her grandma, her sister, and her brother were in here. All I know, I was in the kitchen. Her ass in the bathroom screaming, Mama! I don't sound like that. Either, bro, it don't matter how. I can't be like just like you. So either way it go, she yelled her mama. And I guess her mucus plug came out, the rest of it. And she was like, what you say? My stomach was hurting or something? Either way it go, she said some shit. And her grandma was like, Let's go to the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. And I'm over here panicking. I'm like, okay, let me go to the gas station. Let me go put gas in my car. Let me grab my work uniform. You did not say all that. You said, let me call my job and let them know that the baby's on the way. First of all, the baby wasn't even on the way yet. So why was we going to the hospital? Because you thought you was going into labor. I did. I didn't actually. even call my job until after I found out you were going into labor after the doctor came in there. And put his hand up you and felt. Bro. And then he was like, well, yep. She's going into labor. And I was like, no, Ooh. no, no, no. Because when I went to the hospital, I was already one centimeter. And no, he, wrong. You were you, two, you dilated two centimeters. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Bro, what you mean? You dilated two centimeters and you can't. Then they, that's, then no, they... I did not. Because when I had went to the doctor, I was still one centimeter. And then when he checked me, I dropped down to three centimeters. That fast. I went to the hospital and just went up one centimeter. Baby, I thought, I thought that was the reason I was having... And of course, while you was pregnant, so you would dilate faster. Cause when we had sex, you went back to the doctor and they say dilate to two. Then when you when you thought you, when your mucus plug came out, we went back to the hospital and they checked you when you was at three. No. Or did they say you had dilate to three so you can stay? Well, I'm slow, so either way it go. All that happened. She dilated to the to what she was supposed to dilate to. So I'm panicking. I'm calling my job. I'm like, hey, I can't come in. What do we do? So they was like, cool. I'm like, bet, bet, bet. So we get it. They move it back to the to the to, labor and delivery. To labor and delivery. So we in there chilling, and then I'm sitting there eating some chips. Matter of fact, it was some um some Cheetos, and uh. Drinking on a cup of ice water. And I'm sitting there looking at her all of a sudden, Logan. She's like, I'm like, what's going on? I did on? not do all that. Bro, yes, you no, both. No, I did not. Your ass is in a bed no, like no, this, I did not bro. Because you had a I held my finger up because you was talking to me and I held my finger and I was like. Bro, those contractions were kicking her ass, boy. He don't even know that because he wasn't in half. He wasn't in there for half of it. He was in there in the beginning where it wasn't that wet, when wasn't that bad. Bro, I was all I was in the all the way up until they broke her water. They broke her water for, her, and then I think yeah, it, but after they broke my water, I think it hour, wasn't I think that like bad. A thirty minutes later or an hour later, they came in. And it was like uh, it's time for your epidural. It's time for my epidural, and you have to get out. She wanted me out. She wanted her mom in there. 
When I say I was in that waiting room, KO'd, I was in the motherfucker. KO, it was probably about what? 12, 30 at this time? I was in there. So they woke me up. They was like, hey, uh, it's time for you to go back in the room. I'm like, all right. So I walk into the room, and I'm like, uh, nurse, is it time? They was like, nah, not yet. I was like, ah, right, okay, okay. And uh, so I went back. Her mama, I think, I think your mama was over there in the chair asleep. Yeah, she was on so, the couch. She was on the couch sleep. So I grabbed me two chairs. I, I propped my feet up. I'm looking at Logan. I said, she said, I'm going to go sleep. I said, okay, me too. I went to sleep. I was off and on. The nurse came back in there. The doctor came in. It's time. I'm like, oh. So I'm like, I'm, I get nervous. As soon as they said it's time, I get nervous. They prop her up, you know, spread the legs, all that. No, they had me practice pushing first. Either I don't remember word from word, story from story. Okay, good. Either way it go, I'm gonna tell my version. And if I say something wrong, you just fix it. That's what I was doing. Okay, cool. So I get up and it's like it's the doctor, her assistant, the and nurse. two other assistants. The nurses? Whatever you wanna call them. The RN. Okay, so I was sitting there, and the dude was like, "Are you okay, sir?" I'm like, mm. "No." Mm. The woman said that because she was on your side. The dude was on my side. Well, one of them said something. I was, I was in the motherfucker like, mm. Mm. "Okay." And then they was like, "You okay?" You? I'm like, "So they had to give him a bar. I feel they sick. had to give him a bar bag." They gave me a red bag. It was blue. Bro, I swear to God it was red, bro. Ain't no red barf bag. Logan, you blue. was practicing pushing. Your eyes were closed. How are you going to tell me what color the bag was? My eyes was not closed. You was not even looking at me. You didn't look at me until yeah. they said, sir, are you okay? Ex exactly. You just proved my point. Bro, the bag was red with a white seal on top. No, dear I held it up to my mouth. You can look it up. Bro, they you doing too much. Because it's not no red barf bag. It is blue. You could go to any hospital and they would give you a blue bar bag. Bro, whatever color you want it to be. It could be pink, purple, yellow. I don't give a fuck. I just gave me a bag. And I was going to throw up. They're like, you, you, sir, you can step out if you want to. I'm like, oh, no, nah, I ain't going to step out. It's, you know, it's my first newborn. I'm like, nah, 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 I'm good. So, they was like, all right, Logan, Miss Peters, we need you to push. I'm like, I'm just looking down there. Why they, why they said that? I'm just looking. I'm like, ah, okay, okay. I kid y'all not. It went from this to... Boom. It was not that big. <laughs> Bro, my son got a big ass head, so it motherfucker went why. boom. Bro, you got a long ass head. You have a big ass head. Bro, my head is normal size. Okay. But look at my head compared to your. Look at that big ass head, bro. Look at your big ass head. Turn, turn sideways. Look at that big ass head. It go like no. Turn sideways. It go like. <laughs> bro, come on, fam. Turn your ass side. Look at that big ass long ass. I head. have a long head, not a big long head. neck that's, that's head different. ass. That's the whole. That's totally different. But either way, go. She pushed like twice, and all I seen was some black hair. I'm like, and I said push again. His little hand popped. That's like he was waving at us. He was. He was waving to the world. And then he split my ass. Then she, yeah, he split the shit out of her. No, he didn't. Um, well, he only split it like, not that bad. His hand split. I only had like three stitches and that's it. So he came out. And I'm just looking like, he didn't even cry until he got in her hands. It was like a silent birth. I'm like, I thought babies cry as soon as they get out. It was like, wah, wah. My old babies are like that. So I'm looking at this motherfucker. This motherfucker got a big ass head, a head full of hair, and a little ass body. But that motherfucker was long. So I'm looking at him. They give him a hurt. It was like, Dad, do you want to see where he was living in for nine months? I said, Yeah. It was like a big old sack. He was nasty. I don't skip. Well, I cut the umbilical cord. I thought I, cut, I thought I was scared to cut. I was like, I don't want to cut it too short, too long. I saw and I said, they're going to tell you where to cut it at. Bro, I cut it perfect. I was a champ. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready for baby number two already. <laughs> Just because he cut the umbilical cord right and he wanted another child. Bro. 
either way it go. It was it, it was a lesson to me. Like that's crazy. Like for a man to see a woman push a damn another human being out of her, you vagina. know, vagina. It was exciting. It was weird. It was the most nastiest, most disgusting thing I ever watched in my life. Well, I ain't feeling nothing. I was feeling good. So. In the end, I had a handsome son. So I mean, but bro. I feel like if I was in there when she was going through them um, contractions, contractions, I would have got cussed out, killed, some more. No, because my mama didn't get cussed out. I was crying. I almost broke my mama's hand. I wanted to leave. Every time I held my son in that, I cried. I'm like, bro, this feel good. We will show you him, but he sleep. Yes, he's past his bedtime anyway. He don't need to be up at this time. But that's the tea. Hold on, what else? None. Well, something else did happen. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Oh, oh she got. So these motherfuckers was eating without me. Oh, yeah, she got. I, could, <laughs> I couldn't eat for shit. All I could eat was fucking ice. But we was for four hours. We was eating good. I'm they was eating fucking McDonald's and shit. And they know when I was pregnant, I craved McDonald's. McDonald's. Damn. <laughs> McDonald's like crazy. But I had to eat ice so for fucking four good. hours. I couldn't even drink no fucking water. I had to eat ice for four hours. Four hours. But let me tell y'all something. During her whole pregnancy, I swear to you, she was a garbage disposal. Like, I'll fix her. i fix her like... Two sandwiches, some chips. See, I, I, cause this one would stay with her grandparents. So I went back in my room. She had her own room. She says, I'm still hungry. I'm like, what you want to do? Fix them something to eat. I go in the kitchen, fix her two peanut butter and jellies and some old chips. Like, bro, she was, she was, no wonder why Drew was the way he weighed. Eight pound, 20, eight pound, 26 ounces. Lost. He was 8 pounds and 26 ounces. I got a picture on my phone. No, he wasn't. What he was he? He was 8 pounds, 6 ounces, and 21 inches. Oh, I got him backwards. Yeah. Yeah. He don't even know his own son, but he was crying. Oh, then she got mad because everybody said he looked like me. No, I didn't. That's what her ass did for being mad at me the whole pregnancy. That's the whole why I wasn't nine mad. months. I done got, I done, she done tried to kill me. Yep. Put knives to my throat. Yep. Them broke up me because I didn't give her a kiss on New Year's. Yep. It's a crazy ass girl. Yep. Mm-hmm. But that's that's the story about labor and delivery. <laughs> DL mob out.